Lake Mangadi is the only lake to retain water during the dry season. With a maximum depth never in excess of three meters, it is the ideal habitat for two of the crater's most characteristic birds, the greater flamingo and the lesser flamingo. Every year, thousands of these birds arrive in Gorongoro with the rains. Huge colonies of flamingos come to the lake where they sieve the water in search of algae and crustacea, their staple diet. At midday, the high humidity and evaporation levels caused by the heat become suffocating. The grand zebras nip each other while playing. The simple exercise plays an essential role in establishing and consolidating the social ties within the group. It is during the rainy season that the zebras give birth, as is the case of a large number of the crater's herbivores. Abundant pasture land considerably increases the probability of successfully raising the young. With shortages neither of food nor of water, the young zebras quickly develop the necessary physical strength and speed for surviving in the prairie. The great herds of gnus are also breeding, and almost as soon as they are born, the young will be able to follow their parents in the prairie. The proliferation of the newly born transforms the crater into a paradise for predators, some of which are themselves also in the process of rearing their young. The young jackal's mother can rest assured that there is enough food for the entire litter. For the young warthog, this is a time of fun and games in which danger does not seem to exist. Such a carefree attitude is compensated for by the mother who will take on the burden of worrying for her young as long as they depend on her. Gorongoro's largest predator, the lion, is too busy to be interested in the herbivores right now. A female is trying to attract his attention in order that he take note of her state. And, as so often happens, when he responds, she rejects him. The male seems to have lost interest but the female would not give up so easily. She starts to act again, showing herself to be receptive and submissive. He doesn't seem to be so keen to be humiliated this time. Nevertheless, he is once more roused into action and is again rejected. Finally, the female consents to being mounted. This torturous game of push and pull may well repeat itself every 20 minutes throughout the whole day. The male black rhinoceros sprays his urine to mark out his territory. The 
A female on heat has entered his territory and the male rushes towards her, excited by her scent. Within the Gorongoro limits, this scene is becoming increasingly frequent. The shape of the crater allows for efficient vigilance against poachers and today its wildlife is generally considered to be safe, at least from this source of danger.